This is Unit 6, Lesson 3, Graphing Linear Equations. In Example 1, we've got a relation, uh, an equation with an x and a y in it. And we'd like to graph all of the solutions to that equation. Now, we can't list all of them because we know that there's an infinite number of ordered pairs that are solutions to this equation. Uh, but we can show them in a graph. So we're going to uh, do that by first listing some of the solutions in our xy table. Now this is an equation that's fairly easy to understand and you might be able to come up with some of the solutions in your head um, because we know that whatever the x value is when we subtract the y value it comes out to be 2. So what if we had an x value of 6? Well, 6 minus 4 would make 2 so we know that 6, 4 is a solution to the equation. What if the x value is 5? Well, 5 minus 3 makes 2. What if the x value is 4? 4 minus 2 makes 2. So these are all solutions to this equation. How about 3? 3 minus 1 makes 2. So 3, 1 is a solution. 2 minus 0 makes 2. So that's a solution. So let's go ahead and plot these on our coordinate plane. You can see that these are all lining up in a line. That's why this kind of equation, it's got an x in it and a y, no exponents, but just an x and a y. They might have a coefficient, or they might not, but there's no exponent involved. So if it's an x and a y, it's called a linear equation because all the solutions are going to line up in a single straight line. So these are not the only solutions. We know there's a whole lot of other ones. So let's see if we can find some other ones. And we'll pick this time a fraction, 2 and a half. Well, 2 and a half minus a half makes 2. So 2 and a half and 1 half are an ordered pair. That's a solution. And we can go ahead and graph that. You can see it goes in between two of those purple points that are already plotted. What if we choose, chose a negative number? Well, that's a little harder for me to do in my head. So I'm going to plug that one into the equation. I'm going to plug negative 1 in place of x, and then go ahead and solve to figure out what the y value that goes with negative 1 is. So when x is negative 1, the y value is 3. So I can go ahead and plot negative 1, 3 on my coordinate plane as well. And you can see they're all lining up in a line. So we know that there's a whole bunch of other solutions that we haven't listed yet, but they're all going to line up in that line, so many of them that they smush together and form an actual line. And so we can show all those other equations by drawing that line through the points. And we know that there are still more that aren't even shown that go off of our graph. So we're going to indicate those by drawing arrows at the end to say that way, way, way more points continue off of the graph. And we have graphed uh, the linear equation. Example 2, here's another one. y equals negative 2x plus 3. We're going to do the same process. Let's come up with so some solutions. Now, what x values should we choose? We know that we can choose any at all, but what if I just chose really big numbers like 200 or 300 or 400? Well, those would be okay, but they wouldn't really fit on the coordinate plane that we have right here. So it's a good idea to pick x values that are close to 0, that are close to the origin, the point 0, 0, so that they're going to fit on the actual space of our coordinate plane. So I choose these values right here, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, as my x values because they're all close to the zero point on the x-axis. So we're going to continue with our process. I'm going to take negative 3 and plug it in to the equation and come up with what the y value is that matches. So negative 3, 9 is a solution. I'd like you to uh, continue with that process and complete the rest of the table of values. All right, let's take a look. Here are the values that um, show some of the solutions to this equation. When we go ahead and graph them, you can see they all line up in a line. We're going to show every single solution to that equation by drawing the line with the arrows on it through those points. And we're done. That's it. Put your note sheet in your binder. See you tomorrow.